Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. We are going to be talking about how to store sparkling wines. So sparkling wines need a little bit different storage than still wines. For starters, sparkling wines like to be stored upright rather than horizontal. If you might remember that our red wine we like to keep stored horizontal if we're keeping it for a long time. Sparkling wine on the other hand, you just want to keep it horizontal. This has to do a little bit with the different cork that um, the sparkling wines have and the fact that of course there is a little bit of pressure in there. So first store your wine vertical. The next thing is sparkling wines actually do like a little bit of a cooler temperature. So sparkling wines tend to like to stay between 45 and 50 degrees. However, if you go a little bit outside of this, it's not the end of the world. Your wine will still be okay. It's just more important you keep your wine at a stable temperature. You might remember also we talked about if you take your wine and you let it go through too hot, too cold, too hot, too cold, it's going to really ruin the wine. One, it could cause the cork to either dry up or even pop out, which lets too much air in, or it could even just damage the wine inside. It could end up cooking the wine inside. So we don't want too much temperature differences. But if you keep it at a stable temperature, it's okay to keep your wine in the cellar, in your house, it's going to be okay. Just make sure to not keep it too close to a stove or an oven or a heater, okay? If you do get a wine fridge, like I said, it is ideal to keep that sparkling wine at about 45 to 50 degrees. The other thing you should know is that sparkling wine doesn't like to be kept in the fridge for too long. So, in your house fridge for too long. So, if you have your wine and you're keeping it for next week, you don't need to keep it in the fridge. You can keep it outside. Uh, you can put it into the fridge like a day before you're ready to drink it, okay? Just to chill it a little bit. Now, sparkling wine should also be kept away from light. The, both the heat of the light and the UV rays can actually damage the wine inside. It can change the color and also affect the flavors of your wine. So you want to keep it in a little bit of a darker space, okay? Now, let's talk about when we actually open our sparkling wine. How can we keep it for longer? Sparkling wine doesn't really want to last a long time after it's been open, so you have to store it a little bit differently than other wines, still wines. You cannot use a vacuum uh, or a stopper like that. Instead, there's actually only one specific stopper that will help your sparkling wines. It looks something like this, okay? It has sort of like a plastic uh, stopper there, and then when you close it, it sort of sucks it closed. These type of stoppers will keep your sparkling wine for another few days, but don't expect it to last too long. I would say maybe five days to a week at the most with these. But otherwise, there's really no option to keep your sparkling wine, so it's just another excuse to finish it off. I hope this was helpful in learning about storing your sparkling wines. If you would like to learn more about how to store different wines, about general wine education, I hope that you subscribe and follow along for some awesome wine content. Bye!